Hi, it's Anna. Welcome back to Books on the Go. Today I'm talking all about book clubs and this was prompted by a new initiative by Room to Read, hence the t-shirt, and which I'll tell you about in a moment. But it got me thinking about book clubs and I love a book club. I'm um, in a couple at the moment, one in Adelaide, which is our longest running or the longest running one that I've been in, which has been going for 15, I think 15 years. And we started off with uh, Tim Winton Dirt Music. So we had three of us in our first meeting and we read this and all really liked it. This is how I discovered Tim Winton. And then it ballooned to about sort of 14 or 15 people, which became a bit unwieldy because we used to host at home. And then people have moved into state and overseas and we're down to about six now and we really don't read the book so much anymore it's more just a catch-up as so often happens and it's disintegrated but that that's okay we're actually getting together on friday night so i don't i think in fact i think we're meant to be reading a little life and i i've failed to do that but anyhow we'll find out if anyone else has read it in our adelaide book club we have kept an excel spreadsheet of all of the books that we've read and we give them a mark out of 10 each of us so you know you get varying marks but we've actually been able to track what some of our favorites have been so we loved the book thief by marcus zuzak and we loved Life of Pi, I remember. And yeah, we've read a huge variety. So things like Anna Karenina, Madame Bovary, um, Wolf of Wall Street. We did Fifty Shades of Grey, which I could only get up to about the first 50 pages of. So we've had very different opinions and all that sort of thing, but it's so much fun. And um, yeah, so we've got this history now of like the, a document of all of the books we've read and even quite a few that I'd forgotten <laughs> that we read. And in London, when we moved to London for a year, a few years ago, I joined the London Book Club, which was really fun. And that was a great way to meet some new people, some bookish people, and some of whom I've stayed friends with over the years. And um, even though I've lost touch of I've lost track of what the book club's reading. In fact, I think they're on hiatus at the moment. But that was a really great experience. And I think as well, apart from the In Real Life book club, which so often is, you know, hard to organise meeting up and to, for everybody to have read the book, um, that's what I love about Booktube is that you have this interactive experience of reading a book together and even when your opinions are really different uh, which is sometimes more fun you have that engagement with um, what did other people think of it and reading is a very solitary thing so for me it gives that that gives it a social element that I really enjoy and this we find the same with the podcast we love it when some of our listeners read along with us and you know so they like it when I put up like what we what we have coming up on the podcast, which I must do again soon, actually. But they read along, and so we get this real engagement, and um, even just between me and Annie or Amanda, whoever's reading the book, it's fun to discuss it together and find out how each of us got on with it. Um, so I do love a book club. So I was very excited. You can imagine yesterday I got an email from John Wood, who's the co-founder of Room to Read. And Room to Read's a, a non-profit that Jason and I support that focuses on children's literacy and gender equality for girls' education in the developing world. And we love it. It works in about... 16 countries and funds teacher training libraries books uh, and sometimes schools for children in those countries and that's across India Indonesia um, Southeast Asia uh, the Caribbean and Africa and also helps girls get through high school with not just the academics but also mentoring life skills 
and all of those important things. So it makes a huge difference and is really well run and we love it. But they have now launched a book club. So of course, I joined up straight away. You know, you had me at book club, um, but it's a really good initiative. And so I thought I'd share it with you on the channel in case anyone else is interested. And what they're doing, they send you a monthly email with book inspiration so books that are recommended by CEOs or interesting people around the world and um, they've kicked that off with seven books for a better world so they've selected seven books that help bridge the gap and change our minds or get us thinking about driving towards a better world and so they include books like Educated by T Tara Westover which we did on the podcast, was it this year or last year? I think it was earlier this year. The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak and the library book by Susan Orlean, which I feel like I must read now because I've been hearing about it from, you know, from different people and it's about the fire at the Los Angeles Public Library and I've just heard so many different people talking about it. I think I'll have to read that. Let me know if you've read it and what you thought. And also the new, the most recent one by Khaled Husseini, Sea Prayer, which again I haven't read but I loved The Kite Runner and was it A Thousand Sons? What was the one after Kite Runner? But we, we did those for the Adelaide Book Club actually and we loved both of those. And the other thing that uh, Room to Read is doing with the book club is that they will send you to download local language children's books which is one of the fabulous things that they do and that's publishing books in local languages in the countries that they work because the major publishers because they don't make a lot of profit there often don't have an incentive to publish books in those languages so room to read has inadvertently become you know the biggest publisher that you've never heard of and They've published children's books in 35 different languages and I think they've distributed 26 million copies to date. So really, you know, a really huge impact. And the first three which I downloaded um, yesterday were from Indonesia, Jordan and Nepal and they're gorgeous books. The Indonesian one is this really sweet story of two friends going to a party, but one of them is blind. And so the little girl says, don't worry, I'll guard you to the party. And he has his stick, but he of course doesn't need her help because he uses his other senses to find the house. And it, it's, so it's a really simple story, but really gorgeous and beautifully illustrated and it's in Indonesian but then there there is the English translation as well so I just think if you have children what a beautiful way to introduce them to um, stories from other cultures um, that you can have emailed monthly to your inbox very easy but it just I mean I know lots of us on booktube love translated literature so um, we, we're very aware of it, but I don't know how much children get access to translated work. So I just thought that was something to share with you all. So that is my update. Let me know if you're in any book clubs and whether they actually read the books. And I will share, I'll put the link down below, but I think it is if you're interested in the Room to Read book club, uh, which you just sign up with your email address. And it's, I think it's roomtoread.org org slash book club but i'll put it in the notes down below so i will see you soon bye